Yo, welcome back. We're here with Mitch. We're in, some, we're in something a bit different, which we'll show you when we get there. Um, Mitch has surprised me this morning picking me up in this. But you might, some of you who are into cars might already be able to tell by the noise, a bit of the spoiler in the background, and the seats here. But yeah, it's fast and loud, and we're on the way up north. Where are we going? Oldham. Oldham. So we're going up to Oldham, one of Napit's training centres, to carry out a solar course this week. It's a five day course. We've got about four tonnes worth of books in the back. And yeah, hopefully we pass. We pass, don't Yeah, we? fingers crossed. We grabbed a cheeky little Mackies on the way up here, gone into the training centre, met the guy holding, like running through the course for the week. Pretty sound guy. Um, all the lads in there are all right as well. So should be an all right week. It's just long in it, really, the paperwork side of it. Yeah, the amount of paperwork we've been given already is ridiculous. But ultimately, it's all to do with the MCS registering it and then obviously learning about all the different products out there. It is a very paperwork heavy course like he said but you know what you're kind of signing up for don't you yeah it's like the pre it doesn't be as, as much paperwork as what they've landed on the desk this morning like there's so much yeah and then ultimately as well you have to have so many like pre-requirements to doing this course so luckily i did my 2391 a few weeks ago so i got the pass for that and what was the other requirement 18th edition that's enough of the electrical work for a minute let's step outside and see what mitch has chauffeur does here in that's what they all want to see, isn't it? Of course it is. This is Mitch's pride and joy. Yeah, it is. Very nice. Very nice, mate. A little bit jealous, to be fair. In fact, very jealous, but we'll get there one day. You've got a few more years on me, haven't you? Yeah, I have. Only so, a couple. Only a couple, though. But, yeah, so we're coming here, up here, in this today. Just wait until you get treated to sit in my uh, lovely van, mate. Yeah, that's fine. So, tomorrow we'll probably be in the van. We'll take it in turns, we'll swap around a bit. We're going to go back in now and obviously see how we're going to get on with some paperwork. We've just started going through the code of practice book and working our way through that as an introduction. And then we'll get into more of the nitty gritty paperwork tomorrow and the rest of the week. And we're out for the day. Our heads are frazzled. Um, and now we've got, what is it? Hour and five drive hour five to yours. back to mine. And then you've got about another half hour on top of that. Yeah. But yeah, overall though, it is, we're learning a lot, but it's just a lot to take in, isn't it? There's a lot. So many different pieces of paper, so many different books to go through. It's just, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a lot. Huh? It's a lot of learning, but then ultimately as well, like the guy was saying, you've got to learn to pass the course a bit, but then there is easier things once you get out there and start surveying and stuff on your, set, on your own. Uh, what was that app called? Easy PV or Easy something? Easy PV, yeah. So there's a few. Another one, Solar, something. So there's a few different things which he's going to show us through of how people do it more in the real world, but then also you've got to learn to understand the figures and know not just type it in on a calculator and then does it for you so he's it's well in depth of course so far get up bright and bright and early for tomorrow get back up here and then he's already said we've got homework tomorrow can't wait I feel like a teenager again <laughs> i still am and i everyone thinks oh, yeah, i am right. look at this absolute nerd everyone we literally just got out and he's already reading books again. That's how dedicated you are. Day two, we've literally just come out. We've been action packed today, uh, learning a lot more, doing a bit more calculations, the wind lift off, calculating this many Newtons of force, this, that. Which apparently you'll never use because there's an app that does it for you. Yeah, apparently that app we spoke about yesterday, the Easy PV. Easy PV. That's and there's right. a couple of us um, that apparently basically take all the donkey work out of it. And obviously, as long as you know these figures, what you're roughly expecting, then um, you're more than sound choosing those figures. And then, like you said as well, most people get a site surveyor to come out and do the wind thing if you're on like high rises, and then also the roof truss support, making sure that the roof's sufficient to take the weight, really, isn't it? Yeah, make sure that the roof's fine for the weight that you're putting on there. And you also don't need to, from what I took from you, you don't need to do the wind lift calculation if you're within 400 mil of the roof edges yeah and depending i think it adds a little bit as well if you're using them solar skirt things because they've yeah they stop stopped it. the lifting don't they but so far course has been really good i've learned a lot about solar um it is a lot to take in but yeah we're getting there i don't think it's too overwhelming yet no um but it just there's a lot of it which i do get which you're doing but then you're not really going to use as much because there's apps and stuff. A bit like Tradeify. Tradeify is men helps us out day in day out to make our life a lot easier, faster, efficient. Um, so if you do want to grab Tradeify, you can grab it in the link below, or use code Adam30 
to grab a hefty discount. So this is the end of day two. We're not that fried yet, and we've had a little bit of hands-on, so we've had a look at how the roof supports click on to the rails, how the solar panels click on, um, obviously there's Allen keys, there's thousands of different applications being made and products going to the market. So if there's anything out there that you guys do that are solar installers, I think I wouldn't have seen yet, but are up and coming products, drop a photo in the comments or send us a message on Instagram. It's day three, it's a Wednesday and the typical British weather is back. We're back in Oldham, Napier Training Centre. Uh, we've just snuck across to Tim Hortons, our new favourite spot. Um, yeah, grabbed a little coffee and we're going to go in and do some more learning. So we've got the last day today on the solar course. We've already done our written exams and then we've got an online exam today, multiple choice. So fingers crossed we both pass that. And then Tomorrow we're moving on to battery storage and Friday's battery storage. And I think, he's not said what test we've got for that yet, but I presume it's a couple written and then a multiple choice. Exciting. That's a relief. We both passed the yes. solar bit. So it's still the same day. We have been too busy revising today to talk to the camera, but we've just come out of our multiple choice. I literally just scraped through with like 76 or 77. I changed a few answers right at the very end. And then you got 80. 84. So you've bossed it. Well, From the best. Well, no, yeah. no, <laughs> no, a pass is a pass. To be fair though, it also is, pass is a pass. As long as you pass, that's all I care about. That's the solar side, all done. And then tomorrow is battery, figuring and out the- Batteries onto the solar system of how it affects the usage of the solar that you've got. Um, yeah. So it's be, I think it's gonna be a bit more interesting. I got bored of that bit, if I'm honest. Yeah, so learning that side, uh, doing all the calculations, then Friday will be an online multiple choice exam on batteries. So another exam. You know what that You'll calls for? It. You know what that calls for? Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons and let's go home. Yeah. It's the last day, we're back on the road, traveling up there. Um, I drove yesterday, Mitch is driving today, as you can hear, bit of a noisy sound. Oh, what was that? Um, but yeah, we're doing some revision on the way up, so I'm reading out the questions. I'll spin you around in a second, but we've been given some mock questions to do for the battery storage system test, multiple choice answers uh, today. So fingers crossed we pass that, and then we pass the course. Yeah, we're done then. We can... Fingers crossed. So, solar. if anyone wants any solar panels fit on the roof for battery storage system, hit up, uh, hit us up, and we'll uh, we'll get you a coat across. But yeah, I'll swing you around now and I'll show you the uh, app Napier provided. It's pretty cool, so you can have a mock go at these tests. It's a lot easier than sitting down, reading through all your books, which obviously we definitely did that last night as well. Yeah, 100%. So this is what Napier provided. It was on a QR code, and obviously it's just some mock style questions of the kind of things you're expecting to see on the test, roughly. Um, obviously not the actual ones, but same kind of layouts. So you've got four different answers there, a question, you've got to read through it, double read through it because some of them trip you up a bit and then when you're reading the answers you've got a double triple check it says like it doesn't say not or something in front of it because then obviously you'll be wrong um, so yeah you just tick the right one and we're out and the final verdict is I passed and sadly Mitch has got some bad news to tell you Jordan I'm coming for you <laughs> <laughs> nah Mitch passed as well we absolutely smashed it um, I've already forgot what I got 80 you got 83 and I got 87 or something. I got 84 on both exams. Yeah, but both, at the end of the day, we both got a pass and a pass on the battery and the PV side. So, with jobs are good and we're certified to play with DC cables now. Um, yeah, obviously just try and get some more experience and then get our own jobs doing DC solar panels, batteries and all that and having a play with that. So, fingers crossed, that should be coming in soon. A lot more work on regarding all that. But generically, overall opinion on going up here to the Napier Training Centre and carrying out that course. My thoughts are probably the same as yours, you'll back it up. Great tutor, running through everything. They are a bit PowerPoint by def as such, as some people say, which is just generically the type of course. You, the only way to suck in all of that information is by going through the book and through PowerPoints. There's no other way around it, is there really? No, I think they all do exactly the same now. It's not, that, that's how they, the course is delivered. Um, but I think he did a he did a bang on job with doing what he did with it. Um, he drew it into us, everybody's passed, everybody's got sorted, so yeah. I can't fault him. That's it. So, job's a good one, and next Thursday we are on a separate training course. What's that one called? G? G39. G39, so that's like the same qualification as some of the meter people have. So, we'll probably record a bit about that. But, yeah. Definitely recommend the solar and battery course. That was the LCL one we were on because that is um, 
what do you call it? So it doesn't run out. Lifetime, that one is. Lifetime, whereas the BPEC one is, a, you have to refresh it every five years. Um, I'm not too sure if you have to do the whole course every five years, but you definitely have to refresh and such. A bit like your 18 Franks. But yeah, we're going to blast down the motorway, get home, and have a good bank holiday weekend. So thanks for watching. Catch the next one. Bye. Bye.